Well, I think my biggest victory was realizing my dream of running the basketball team. How cool is that? And I think corporately, I ran six companies, and all of them had success while I was there. But creating Maple Leaf Sports Entertainment, that arguably one of the finest sports entertainment companies in the world, um, was a real victory. Now, the flip side, biggest disappointment, not winning a championship. There's no doubt that I won a, off the playing field more than I won on the playing field. We did not win any championships in my 15 years. That was one of my goals, one of my dreams. Um, you know, I had wonderful owners who gave me the resources to, to take a company from about $300 million in value and make it $2 billion. To, the, the summer that I hired Ferguson and Babcock, mm -hmm. um, I, was, I was very comfortable that Ferguson was a good choice. And if you look at his resume, I, I, I still defend it to this day. My mistake was he was a rookie and you don't put a rookie into Toronto. Rob Babcock was not a good signing, and I was, a bunch of things conspired to put a lot of pressure. I had to make a move, and I, I opted out for someone who really wasn't up for the job. So, you know, you, you make a, a, a ton of decisions. My book talks about my successes, but also candidly talks about my failures. No, I don't. I've been gone almost two years now. And, you know, I was at the game on Wednesday, but I can slip in and, you know, people still recognize me, but not near the extent. I had 15 years. That's, that's almost four times the average life of a CEO today. I never got fired. Uh, I saw hundreds of games every year, concerts, soccer, basketball, Marley's, um, and, and Leafs. Um, I'd had enough by the end of 15 years, and, and I'm really comfortable doing what I'm doing now. He's a very good friend. Uh, we were friends long before I hired him. He was um, a guy who I would go to and ask for advice long, you know, 10 years before I hired him. And he was always very forthcoming. So we got to be pretty good friends. And, and then when I did a very thorough analysis of who our next general manager would be, of course I had a bias, but our research really said that Brian and another individual were the top two candidates to go after. So Brian's bombastic, he's stubborn, he's black and white, he's sometimes profane, but he's an incredibly stand-up guy. He has very strong principles, he'll fight for them. If you're a friend of his, he will back you. And uh, I, I, uh, to this day, he's, uh, I think, one of the best general managers in hockey. Well, there's, uh, I, I tell a story about how we came about um, thinking of and coming up with Toronto FC. I talk about Larry Tannenbaum and I losing the uh, basketball bid in 1963, in 1993, and why, how we lost it fairly. Well, I have, I have 22 lessons learned at the end of this book. One of them is less is more. Okay. By that, don't be too front and center with the media. Well, Tim's very front and center, but he, wow, he's picking out the parade route and stuff. Personally, I wouldn't do that, uh, but Tim seems to be comfortable with that, so uh, we'll see if that works for him.